What's up, everybody? Kyle here at Let's Talk Wax with my five favorite prospects heading into the second half of the minor league season. Now, this was a tough list to put together, so be sure to let me know in the comments who some of your favorite prospects were from the front half of the 2023 minor league season. We're going to start this video off with Roman Anthony, who was drafted in the second round of the 2022 draft out of Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School by the Boston Red Sox. Over a small 83 plate appearance sample size in 2022, Anthony hit 306 with more walks than strikeouts. He entered the 2023 season in low A, where he had a slow start hitting 228 with a sub 100 ISO. He was later promoted to high A about a month ago, where he absolutely exploded, hitting 365 with a 508 ISO, eight homers, six doubles, and a sub 1 K to walk ratio over 81 plate appearances prior to the All Star break. Anthony is a solid athlete who has played the majority of his games in center field. The most attractive stat for me are his K numbers. Anthony has an advanced approach at the plate holding a sub 1 K to walk ratio and a 17.2 K percentage. I put a lot of weight on K numbers in this hobby and Anthony has some of the best in all of minor league baseball. Roman Anthony's chrome first autos can be found in 2023 Bowman and are really soaring up in price right now close to $80 based on current comps. He's currently a Let's Talk Wax rank of 2.5, but we could see that rank increase significantly if he continues to produce in high A down the stretch. Now, before we get into our four remaining players, I want to let you guys know that I'll be running a break on Whatnot where we will be chasing these five players that I'm talking about today. Our last break was a lot of fun, and I had a great time interacting with everyone over the live stream. We'll be auctioning off each team again starting at $1, and you can get a free $15 credit to spend on the Whatnot app using my invite link in the video description. I can't wait to see you all again on Friday, July 21st at 8 p.m. Central Time. Next on our list is Yankiel Fernandez, an outfielder in the Colorado Rockies organization. Fernandez was signed out of Cuba back in 2021 and has shown off an exceptional hit tool across his minor league career, hitting 298 with a 237 ISO. He's off to one of the best seasons of his career so far in 2023, where he's hitting 300 with a 281 ISO, 22 jacks, 15 doubles, and three triples across three different levels. The Rockies have wasted no time promoting Fernandez to AA two weeks before the All-Star break. His numbers so far in AA have been a bit underwhelming, but his career numbers lead me to believe that he'll get back on track by the end of the 2023 season. He currently ranks in the top five of all minor league baseball with 22 home runs so far in 2023. You can find his first chrome autos in 2022 Bowman Chrome for about 60 bucks right now. Fernandez currently holds a Let's Talk Wax rank of one, but it could go either way later in the season depending on how he acclimates to double A. Kobe Mayo is the next breakout player in 2023. He played at the same high school as Roman Anthony and was drafted in the fourth round of the 2020 MLB draft. Mayo stands at a towering 6'5 and can play third base and first base. Mayo had a great MILB debut in 2021 between the Complex League and Low A where he hit 319 with a 236 ISO and a sub 20K percentage. Mayo was poised for a big year in 2022, but some aggressive assignments in high A and double A slowed his production by a significant margin. The hobby had become a bit forgetful of the young slugger with exceptional physical upside going into the 2023 season. Mayo didn't take long to get back on track in AA, where in the front half he hit 303 with a 292 ISO, clobbering 17 home runs with an incredible 31 doubles as one of the youngest players at the level. Mayo has enormous upside and an undeniable bat. The problem is his path to the MLB, which is cluttered with outstanding talent in the upper minors and major league level in Baltimore. We will have to see what happens to Mayo as we approach the deadline, as his hot bat could be very enticing as trade bait. He's currently a Let's Talk Wax rank of 1, but could reach elite level by the end of 2023 if he continues to destroy baseballs. Mayo only has an auto in 2021 Bowman, and his cards are quickly soaring towards the $100 mark. The final two players on this list are ranked as elite, and I don't throw that rank around loosely. There are only a handful of prospects that reach my elite ranks, and Junior Caminero has achieved that level based on his outstanding performance so far in 2023. Prior to the All-Star break, Caminero was promoted to AA at the age of 19, making him one of the youngest players at the level. He didn't skip a beat as he's hitting 335 with a 262 ISO in AA alone. Between high A and AA this year, Caminero has been good for 16 home runs, 13 doubles, and 4 triples. His performance doesn't look to be a fluke or a hot streak. 
His career numbers speak for themselves with a 318 batting average, a 228 ISO, and a sub 20 K rate. Cam Monero has already had an amazing career in the minors at the ripe age of 20. There are a handful of impressive bats in the Rays' upper minors, and I'm interested to see how the organization handles those bats up until the trade deadline. Camonero first chrome autos can be found in 2023 Bowman and are fetching around $200 a piece. Finishing up my current top five front half performers is my favorite prospect in all of minor league baseball, Jackson Holiday. He was the number one overall pick in the 2022 draft and hasn't stopped hitting since his professional debut in 2022. Between the complex league and low A last year, Holiday hit 297 with 25 walks and only 12 strikeouts. His elite approach at the plate has allowed him to shine in his sophomore season where he's already climbed to double A at the age of 19.6. Across three levels so far in 2023, Holiday's hitting 338 with seven home runs, six triples, and 17 doubles and a 20.5 K percentage with a 1.07 K to walk ratio. Holiday's talents don't stop offensively as he's already swiped 20 bags with a plus defensive ceiling at shortstop. Much like Caminero, Holiday has ascended through the minors and reached double A before the age of 20. The sky is the limit for his skill set, but like Mayo, the path to the MLB in Baltimore is not a clear one. You can find Holiday's first chrome autos in 2022 Bowman Draft, and we'll be ripping some 2022 Draft Sapphire to chase some parallels for our next break. His first chrome autos are sitting right around $350 right now, making him one of the most expensive base autos in the hobby. And as I mentioned before, don't forget we're going to be chasing these five players on my second Whatnot live stream Friday, July 21st at 8 p.m. Central Time. Come over and hang out. The last break we had was a ton of fun, and you can also get a free $15 credit on the Whatnot app if you use my invite link in the video description. That's going to wrap up my current top five. Be sure to let me know who you guys think are some of the top prospects in minor league baseball up until the all-star break it was really difficult just to pick five appreciate all my supporters over on patreon and y'all have a great day